top of the Premier League for over a decade now. Manchester United with a greater record, of course, and they're wanting to impose themselves over Chelsea again here. Well, that's right, Martin, but I think when you look at the two lineups, what we won't get is a shortage of goals and expecting plenty of entertainment out here today. Here's the Chelsea lineup. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. Gary Cahill starts alongside David Luiz in the heart of the defence. Eden Hazard starts with Pedro in the wide positions. Morata is the sole striker today. This is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal. Paul Pogba plays with Ander Herrera in midfield. Romelu Lukaku is the sole striker today. Alan, I was here for the 82 World Cup final. You were still probably a schoolboy then, watching it on the television, but it was a, a special setting for, obviously, the fixture in world football. Yeah, it's one of those places, is there a finer sight? The Bernabeu packed to the rafters and with those Galacticos, the white shirts, gracing the surface, knocking in the goals. Eden Hazard. That's good movement forward here. He went in well. Well, we've got an interesting match up here. Eden Hazard against Henrik Mkhitaryan. Well, Eden Hazard is the top-class finisher. He gets himself in the box, and it's not often that he loses his head. As for Henrik Mkhitaryan, he is known for his interplay. Got such quick feet, knows how to use them. He's tried his shot from long range. Praise for trying the shot, Alan. Well, his teammates aren't too happy. So headed away for a throw. Rashford. It's Daily Blind. Pogba. On to the attack now. Now here's a chance from winning the ball. Moses! He's got some strength, hasn't he, to shield the ball like that. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Into the attacking third. Angola Conte. Fabregas. It's nicely worked until that point, and it broke down. Now they've got to try and regain possession. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Marcos Alonso. Getting at the opposition now, Manchester United. Now Marcus Rashford. Well, he's got support here. On the move and able to cut out the pass. has it Morata with great vision here attacking now it's a defender on top of his game here and certainly on top of the opposition then Victor Moses should really deliver from this position with the defender in the way Could pose some danger now. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Pedro. Now they can 
attack here. Drew Maratta running with the ball. Blint. Pogba. And uh, Herrera. Chelsea given the advantage here. Here's Fabregas. Eden Hazard. Free kick conceded by Antonio Valencia. Eden Hazard. And Villa Conta. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. And there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the break. Well, perhaps with Eden Hazard, Alan, as the half-time whistle has gone, we can look back on that first half. He hasn't had quite the impact that we expected. He worked hard enough, but just didn't come off for him. But he's got another half to put things right. It can only get better, Alan. <laughs> can only get better. I've forgotten that first half already. Let's hope for something slightly more inventive after the break. Defended well. Eden has it. Now Fabregas. Neatly intercepted. Lukaku. Oh, he's given offside. Yeah, he's playing on the shoulder, but just needs to hold his run a touch. Alonso. Cahill. Now Fabregas. And it's going to be an attacking move this from Chelsea. That's going to run on through to the goalkeeper. Nemanja Matic. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. Manchester United get the advantage decision. Lukaku. So we'll restart with a throw-in. Now Marcus Rashford. And uh, Herrera. Lukaku. Pogba. Rashford. In really for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh dear, oh dear. I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match. The manager just trying to get his message across down there. They weren't far off taking the lead there. They're playing pretty well. Marcus Alonso. Cesc Fabregas. That's Billy Cueto. And it will be their throw. There's a change coming up, and it's for Manchester United.
spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Cross driven in low. And they get it away. Fogba. And they cut it out. A chance to break away now on the counter. Breaks the lock. Pedro! Well, the opposition must have thought they were holding out, but it's a good goal past them. And the opposing manager will be worried now because his team were basing their game on shutting out the opposition. Well, that's failed. And the manager of the team that scored will be delighted. He'd be wondering whether it would come. Well, it has come belatedly, but it might be enough. Well, that has been coming, and they've played well enough, making so many chances they've taken this one. Well, it's uh, a dream day for those forwards because no shortage of chances created. Top day for them. Chelsea have the lead. in this move, far too close the cross to the keeper Martial and the teammates who are clearly on the same Popper Manchester United have won a corner well they're still trailing and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game maybe some fresh legs will do the trick by Mkhitaryan and it's a shot now excellent from the goalkeeper and his team still lead because of him really he's got his head in his hands can't believe he's given the keeper a chance but what a save Antonio Valencia Mkhitaryan Good block, but a poor cross. Neatly intercepted. Can really get at the opposition here. Anthony Martial. Got his head to it well, but no power. Did well to, to get there first, to find some space, but couldn't apply the finishing touch. No change on the scoreline. Chelsea quite happy about that. They are still a goal ahead. And it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time. It's so frustrating for them. They're on the attack, they can't break through. Flag went up straight away, referee blew offside. Good play until they got that challenge in. And that's the end of the game. Well, they've got their whole package here, haven't they? They put this game on to try and get a bit of a feel-good factor in the camp. And the result has done that and the way they've gone about their work. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you never like to emphasise the necessity to win, but it's always nice, it's always a bonus when you do, particularly when you've got a bit more match practice for your players.